So what I want to show you in this video is how to create a really good looking SharePoint site quickly and easily using a template provided by Microsoft. Now you'll find these templates at lookbook.microsoft.com. So I've navigated there, you'll see that. Again, if we go in here and select the option for the examples, you'll see that we've got a lot of templates here covering a lot of different areas. Uh, inside the organization. So we've got them for, you know, the department, we've got them by community, um, we've also got lots of solutions in there as well. So the idea here is to go in and select the one which probably matches as closely as possible to the concept uh, that you want to bring into SharePoint. And then basically we're going to bring that in as a starting template into a new site collection inside SharePoint Online. Now in this case, I am going to go in and select the one here, which uh, I think will make, uh, what one we here will we choose? I think we'll choose the landing. So what we'll do is we will apply uh, the landing here. So if I go in and select that, you'll see here that I get information um, about the site feature. So what are the features that are gonna be brought in as part of this template? You'll see which web parts are gonna be used and again, what content will be included. Now we get a bit of an idea here as to what the look and the feel is. So I'm happy with that as a starting point. Now I may wish to edit that down the track, but this is going to be pro pro provide me a really good starting place. Now you'll see here that what I need to do to enable this is I'm going to have to uh, use SharePoint Online. I'm going to be a tenant admin and it's going to be deployed in English. Now, all I need to do is to uh, select this uh, button here, but what I've done prior is I have logged into my tenant as a global administrator, and that means it's going to allow the provisioning of the site by collecting the button, uh, by just clicking the button. So the first thing to do here is obviously go in and select the template uh, that you like. The next thing is log in to your tenant as a global uh, administrator so you can deploy the template into the environment and then when you're ready go to the page here as I have and simply push the button to add to your tenant. Now because I've already logged into the tenant that's going to make it nice and easy in the same browser session what I will get here now is a choice for how I want to set up some of the configuration. So I'm going to be able to, for example, choose uh, an email address, right, to let me know when the provisioning is complete. Uh, the site URL, which I can customize, also um, the name of the site, so I can customize these uh, if I want, but I'm happy to do that. I know that there's not going to be a clash, so there is not already a site with the same URL. So again, just be careful to make sure that is not the case, or otherwise you will get a failure in the provisioning. So generally what you do is you just accept the defaults here and we'll go off and we'll push the uh, provision button. Now, again, provided I'm logged in as a global administrator, this is going to provision it into my SharePoint online uh, environment once I confirm that. Okay, and you'll see here that I get a message here that is now provisioning in progress. Now, depending on the size of the site, uh, it will take a, a few minutes to do. Typically, it's around five minutes uh, to complete. Once that's done, we'll pop back in and we'll have a look um, for this new site here called The Landing. So I'll just pause this video and we'll wait till the provisioning process has completed. Okay, we'll see that our site has finished provisioning a few minutes later. Now, all we need to do to access that site directly is to click the URL here, and you'll see this will take us to our new site built off that template. So again, it's got all the um, normal standard features in there. Now what I can do is I can go in here and select the edit and now start customizing that basically uh, to suit my needs. But it's gonna save me having to you know, basically create this uh, from scratch. So again, what I've done is I went to uh, the Microsoft Lookbook, so lookbook.microsoft.com. Then what I went in and selected is the template that I was after. You'll see that there's a whole range of templates um, on different themes here. And the easy way to get to see all of these is to go up to this option here, view the designs and work through and have a look at the ones which uh, match your need. Once you have found one that uh, matches your need, all you need to do then is uh, basically uh, select the button there to add to the template, uh, add to your tenant. And all you need to do to make that happen is to ensure that you've logged in to your tenant as uh, an administrator. And then that site will be ready to go once it's taken a few minutes to provision. So that's how easy it is to create a new SharePoint site 
using the uh, lookbook templates that are provided by Microsoft. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video.